Yeah, so we did a bit of exploration and now we are back onto the main story for however long it takes before I get distracted by the next shiny shiny. So with that said, come join us as we once more step foot into the vortex as we continue to travel and traverse the world, the realm of the outer worlds. Peril on Gorgon. Our destination wait, uh, well, our destination is set, the controls are set, our destination lays before us and as always I've bumbled up this intro, so let's just go, shall we? Oh. Wrong button. Right button. There we go. And well, we'll do that. So let us get this show on the road. So long as, you know, the internet doesn't die or anything. Ah, you're still playing Sonic Generations. I love that game. I don't know if I've still got it in. Oh, go away, Epic. I don't know if I've still got it installed on this computer, actually. I know I installed some app packs. No, not app packs. I installed some add-ons to make it work a bit smoother. But that's about it, really. I think, no, hold on. I think it was bug fixes and improved graphics. Just to make it all look shiny, shiny. Hmm. Yeah, I love Sonic Generations. Uh, Sonic Generations was brilliant. I really should go back and complete that one day. I really did enjoy that game. One of the best Sonic games I've played in a long time. Forces was okay, those in bits and pieces, but yeah, I think I'd go with Generations over Forces any day of the week, especially because they did a better job of introducing classic Sonic, and it didn't feel like it was put just sort of plumbed in for no apparent reason. Anyway, let's start with reading these messages that we didn't have time for last time. So, thank you for using Gimsy. Bad about it. Yeah, Sonic Forces was a bit boring. I, I liked some of the levels. Some of the levels were quite entertaining. The story was a bit bland and was didn't make sense. And there were plot holes you could drive a truck through. To be honest, I mean, Infinite was just a big was just your generic edge lord, mopey mopey blag sort of villain, and Eggman. I'm still not entirely sure what his master plan was. Also, that null space level where with Sonic and original the character was a bit naff because you get you get thrown into null space. They could have done some sort of Mario Galaxy esque insane space dimensional courses level things, and instead you just basically double boost for about five seconds and you're out and then you're just in the city again. It was no, it was mediocre. Once say it was bad, but. It was mediocre. Yeah, like the jungle stage as well. That was fun. Anyway, right. Well, let's see. To Goodfellow N. Subject on the latest. Subject on the latest test results from the Human Inquiry with some additional commentary. Mr. Lawrence Goodfellow. Fortunately, I have the opportunity. Oh, yeah. Fortuitously, I have the opportunity to review the latest test results from Human Inquiry. I agree with you and the committee's general assessment that these tests are unacceptable. The latest experiment sample from, of Adrena time demonstrates a 15 out of 17 possible symptoms in my rubric of dangerous, lethal or otherwise high risk side effects. I have set, sent a full report to your desk, the abstract of which is as follows. Adrena time, in its current state, fails to meet the project standards. By my calculation, Adrena time users trade short-term improvement in productivity for long-term losses in, in productivity. Specifically, dead workers are unproductive workers. Whatever a calculation uh, wait, whenever a calculation produces an unforeseen result, it is prudent to take a look at one's numbers. Incorrect numbers lead to flawed calculations. If the HIA's calculations are sound, then the numbers, that is to say, the drugs provided by Chem Labs, must be flawed. Your esteemed colleague, Mr. Clarence, Clarence Mostly. Okay, number two, from Mostly C to Goodfellow L. Further analysis of the fundamental problem undermining our operations with, with additional suggestions. Mr. Lawrence Goodfellow. I have not yet received your correspondence regarding my previous letter. I can only assume you are still to deploy the para... Uh, what now? 
<laughs> the paracochial collo colloquial the colloquial with the vague I can't even say the word now. It's too early in the no actually it's midday, isn't it? Uh parochial colloquial uh, colloquial that word Chewing over my commentary, I have several additional insights which I have con uh, collated into an itemized list and sent to your secretary. Here is my summary. I believe the root of the problem lies in the chem lab. As I mentioned in my previous letter, incorrect numbers lead to flawed calculations. The problem must therefore be found in Dr. Jasper Law and his stewardship of the chem lab. Dr. Law... Dr. Lowe, even, is a notorious, lackadaisical and curless manager and, pardon my language, a poor scientist. ChemLab must provide HIA with a safe, high-quality, carefully refined drug which, uh, with which to conduct tests. The slapdash, artless, high-risk formula ChemLabs has been delivering to HIA can only result in an unacceptable test results. I understand the safety of high quality development and uh, the, uh, blah, blah, blah. I understand the safety and high quality development are often <laughs> Gordon Bennett and difficult to the corporate strategy of Space's Choice, but in my life I have found that the pr <laughs> perspective of an outsider can uh, perspective of an outsider can be helpful. Awaiting your response, Mr. Clarence Mosley. Oh, hello. Uh, so I'm waiting on Super Mario 3D All Stars. I am going to get it. I have already got it. Actually, the, um, depending on the timings, it depends how long it takes for, for us to finish the DLC here, and depending on what happens with um, uh, the screen, the screen, the stream schedule is changing from the fifth onwards because I'm got master I've got MSc classes at uni in the evenings on a Thursday when I'd normally stream so once I work out the new streaming schedule I think I'm going to start with the Super Mario 3D All-Stars with Super Mario 64 it seems like a game that I can probably complete with before Cyberpunk comes out because once that comes out this channel's just going to be nothing but Cyberpunk until we're done apparently it's not that long a game so it's shorter than The Witcher, but at the same time, I suspect that the speed I get through games, it will take me at least six months to complete. So, yeah, there's that. Um, okay, so we've done that. So, to good fellow L, subject encouraging words are blah de blah de blah. Encou uh, from Mosley C to good fellow L, encouraging words on the nature and practice of leadership with additional insights. Your reports to my previous two letters are. Gordon Bennett, I, I work, I work, as I just said, I work, well, no, I've mentioned in the past, I work for a university, and every week, our vice chancellor sends around emails, but he likes to you write his emails very much like these letters, there are words that no person normally use in, uses in speech, and yet he just pulls them randomly out into weird paragraphs, and it's very much, pretty much what I've got here, so, yeah. Apologies if I keep stumbling over my words. I'm trying to read fast and I'm also mucking it up, but there we go. So, Mr. Lawrence Goodfellow, your response to my previous two letters are conspicuous by their absence. Based on my analysis of your personality type, dietary habits, patterns of speech, and mode of dress, I must conclude with reasonable certainty that your silence stems from trepidation and anxiety. If I might persuade, presume to offer you some advice cultivated after years of living in Byzantium, may I suggest that your anxiety stems merely from ignorance. Ignorance is the easiest of vices to rectify and requires only learning and healing, heeding the advice of one's betters. Like me, I am everyone's better. I am the bestest of the best. This is why I work a desk job. Uh, the success and failure of any project depends on the readiness of its constitution, uh, constituent staff to perform the mandated duties. Scientists perform experiments, researchers, research managers manage. When one of these roles acts outside of its limitations, chaos is introduced into the system. Take heart! 
You need not fear the burden of management. The secret of good leadership is strong oversight combined with careful, fastidious, numerically driven and scientifically supported management. The turbulence experienced by this project is emphatically not the fault of the OCI. However, it is the result of and role and duty of the OCI to fix these problems. Ours is the only department capable of rectifying the ship of innovation in the waters of chaos with potential affection uh, with, <laughs> with paternal affection mr clarence mostly wow wow <laughs> i like this chap he sounds like an utter he just sounds like an utter but yeah no he died i like that he sounds interesting um, Super Mario Galaxy, you're playing. Okay, starting with Super Mario Galaxy. Fair enough. I never, I never finished Super Mario Galaxy. I don't know why. I sort of petered out on it. Well, it's modest. It's, uh, Mario Odyssey was the first Mario game that I finished, at least the main story. I've technically still got to complete it, but what I might do is eventually I'll probably just start from the beginning because it was a really good game, and I'll just work my way through and just do a full completionist run in one go rather than trying to get back into it months down the line and try and do it from there. Okay, so we've read all his stuff, we've looted his safe, we have shot his chair. Um, I think that's everything we need to do here. Oh, yep, hello Ellie. Uh, any bandits? Uh, I don't think there are bandits in the lockers, that would be a silly... Hello! Oh, you're a corporate commando. Okay. And 10 bits... Okay, new terminal. Oh, more messages. Right, um... M. Kimura. <laughs> poo -poo -poo -poo. The best idea since pre-sliced bread. Oh, right, that was just a tagline. Never mind. Okay, so... From... OCI... Cerebral Committee to OCI Department of Strategic Branding Unexpected Results. The OCI Cerebral Committee has hereby defined by unanimous vote that the recent test results from Human Inquiry and Auditing HIA, are unacceptable, unattainable and unsatisfactory. This message is an informal expression of our dissatisfaction, which will be formally declared by memorandum in the near future. While the committee recognises the marketing potential of insomnia and chemical dependency, the remaining side effects described in HIA's latest report are incompatible with the OCI's vision of the Adrena Time product. Corporate auditors will expect to see a product that dramatically improved the long-time productivity of Spaces Choice workers by reducing the need for rest and mitigating the effects of long-term melancholia. The product delivered to HIA induced psychosis, violent behaviour, paranoia and alarmingly disobedience. The OCI cannot accept a product that transforms long-term users into dissidents. The damage to our corporate image will inevitably benefit our rivals at Auntie Cleo. Unanimously. OCI, the Rebel Committee. Well, yeah, no, that sounds about right for Spaces Choice. Uh, from Goodfellow L to OCI, the Rebel Committee. Oh, <clears throat> got something stuck in my throat. <clears> throat> Better, I think. Right, so, um,. To my colleagues in the OCI Cerebral Committee, I share your concern, but not your alarm. In times like these, I encourage you to recall a passage from our Spaces Choice user manual. The failures of the subordinate must never become the failures of leadership. Scum, Chapter 21, Article XIV. The meaning is simplicity itself. HIA has failed to deliver acceptable results based uh, results because they have failed to perform their professional obligations. My esteemed colleagues, you and I possess a number of law-given qualifications, but we have not been relegated to lab coat work. 
let me reiterate we are not test sub test tube jockeys we are leaders hia proposed to excuse me hia proposed to deliver test results our purpose is to deliver a quarterly report i'd like to reach out to miriam kimura at strategic branding have her team clear up hia's report trim the fat and tuck in its guts make it look presentable for the auditors Is that the, the Turbo Nanny because I've never finished Mario Galaxy or a Turbo Nanny because of something I've just read in an email? Oh, hello. Um... Okay. That's a... Uh, what? <laughs> So what's your blank about the new Spider-Man game that's coming out on the PS5? I never... It looks interesting. Also, I'm going to block that just because of the words you used. But um, I take, I'm guessing, is the word you were looking for there. What's my take on the new Spider-Man game on PS5? Um, well... I, watching the trailer, it looks interesting. I saw footage of the first Spider-Man game on PS4, and that did get my attention. I have not played it, however. I will play it before the one on PS5 comes out, or at least maybe I'll do maybe I'll do a small franchise run of it where I'll play the first game and then I'll play Miles Morales. But we'll see how that goes. It all based it's based on timings. Chances are I'll be too deep in Cyberpunk when the new Spider-Man games comes out for me to play it on release because I only have eight hours of stream time in a week, so I have to balance it all out like that. But yes, it looks interesting. Also, I loved watching. I loved Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, so it's going to be yes. It is definitely definitely on my radar. It's definitely on my radar. It's definitely on the playlist. When I'll play it, nobody knows, not even me at this point. I got to 100% in the first Spider-Man game on PS4. Hey, there we go then. To me, that is a show, a show of one's true love to a game is if you put in the time and the effort to 100% it. That's why I 100%ed Ghost of Tsushima when I first played it. That's why I 100%ed these. To be honest, it is probably dangerous for me to say I'm going 100% everything because eventually I'll probably run into a game that I don't like, which I'll drop and I'll break the whole... I always 100% any game, but we'll figure it out from there. Um, where was I? Oh, yes, I was reading the emails. Uh, da, 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 da. Two. No. Oh, well, uh, there we go. Cool. So, from Kimura M to OCI Celebral Committee, CC Goodfellow L. Data, prosper, data presentability and empirical hygiene. Cerebral Committee. My team and I have finished reviewing HIA's latest experimental report. We believe the few failure of this report is manifest in its flagrant disregard for company-approved language. To that end, we have drafted a revised report, edited with language consistent with Spacer's choice as company vision. The hate... The HIA's original report mentions clear evidence of dangerous side effects associated with using the Adrenatime product, including, but not limited to, paranoia, violent confusion, chemical dependency, and dissident abjectant behaviour. We propose the following connect the connotation connotative con wait what? We propose the following. Cono... Conoative revisions. I don't know what that word is, but okay. Dangerous side effects. Exciting collateral benefits. Paranoia. Dramatically heightened attention. Violent confusion. Physically assertive behaviour. Chemical dependency. Metabolic compatibility. Dissident objectant... Uh, dissident objects... Uh, Adjacent? Oh, dissident adjacent behavior. Any mention of dissident behavior in my report may encourage dissidents. Recommend cutting this phrase entirely out of our respect for our readers. 
Okay then. Yep, we are seeing how the sausage is made, ladies and gentlemen. Isn't it a grand sight to see these people working out how to sell Class A drugs to the normal people? That. That. Thank you very much. Ooh, hello. The, oh, bugger. Oh, no, hold on. We have an outfit for this. Safe crackers. Aha! There we go. Ooh, there we go. Thank you very much. Uh, I don't think there's anything else there. Cool, right, so... Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -bom. Um, oh, bit cartridge. I'll not use. Oh, that. We'll take that. Empty. Take that. Uh, 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 dead sprat in the. That cannot be hygienic. We'll steal the bread then. Pre sliced, <laughs> pre sliced bread. Okay, that's, right, that's where we need to go, but we've not read this terminal yet, so. Persian Lies Security Terminal, welcome C. Mosley. Status. Oh, we're C. Mosley, okay then. Persian Lies Security Terminal, turret, turret status active, hallway status secure, dissident threat minimal. Okay, what's my hacking? I think I might be able to boost my hacking enough to disable that. Maybe. Yeah, I just need two. So, what did we use last time? Body attribute. That. That. I think that might have been enough. Okay. Personality attribute, maybe? There we go. So, personality attribute is the hacking. That's good. It's only taken me until now to figure that out. So, huzzah, I suppose. The best idea since precise bread. So, bread basically. Um, personal security terminal, reversing, rewriting intruder database. Okay, that's fine. So that should give us current status compromised, hallway status vulnerable, uh, dissident threat immediate. Awesome. Right, that should hopefully help us take out the bandits. Um, I can't go through that door. Isn't that? Oh, that's the way I came from, I'm guessing. Yeah. Oh, well. No, yeah. No, this is where we came from because we went came around here and found the bandits and then we got shot. So, yeah. Cool. Okay, I think that's everything. That went. That. Ice bread. Some bits and pieces. Energy cells. Yes. Maintenance. Oh. Wouldn't I need... Full lock picking skills again in there, really? Okay, fine. Well, we will find a maintenance key somewhere, I'm sure. When we do, we can come back here and get into that room. On the toilet, is it? No, fine. What's the name of this game? This is The Outer Worlds, made by um, Obsidian. So, we are currently, well, the base game is The Outer Worlds, and we are currently playing through the DLC. Peril on Gorgon, Guess which is their first main story DLC. I hope they're passing with Swift. Sure it was, Pavati. Yes, I love this game. It's I enjoyed Fallout New Vegas. I, I sort of enjoy Fallout. I've never I've only ever finished New Vegas. The other one I never got free to work because I got it on PC and it's just it's broken. And I never finished Fallout 4 because I broke it myself. So yeah, I love New Vegas, and this game is not only New Vegas, it, it's made by the same people who did New Vegas, it's got a lot of the elements from New Vegas that I loved, but at the same time it's got a sort of British 
sci-fi red dwarfy humor about it. it it's very it's a very cynical game and it's i i love the writing and i love the characters and i just i've fallen so deeply in love with this world people are fell in love with fallout i've fallen in love with this game more outer worlds is always a pleasant thing that okay the i'm guessing there's no turrets in there um vending machine I purchase it oh no I I've got no they don't like me enough okay whoa adrena time and um, your juice is frozen I'm my condolences I'll keep it down broader berserker yeah I'm just gonna cripple you ever so slightly mate there we go he's dead um I don't know where the others are Shotgun time. Hello. Goodbye. Ooh. Well, yeah, he's dead. That. And they were just here having a nice drink. Oh dear. Any sign of a security key card? That'd be nice. That. Wait, what did I do to get an E rank? Oh, I think you're just being mean now. Um, I thought I did quite well. I didn't die. Just an improvement for me. Oh, I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll probably check at my inventory at some point. Oh, we passed a vending machine, didn't we? Right, I completely forgot. Vending machine. And sell. And sell all junk. Two, four, three. Yeah, that's fine. We've got plenty of carrying capacity now. That's okay. So we can carry more bullets and guns and stuff. Oh, I should probably also repair my fix my inventory. Shouldn't. Okay. Yeah. Per all equipment. Armor parts. Twenty-eight weapon parts and ten armor parts. Yeah, I think we can afford that. Just call it a hunch. Had a lot of Adrena time, and yeah, I've not gone crazy. Mm. Oh, um, yeah, we'll fit that. Cool. I'm sure I'm not going to get any addictions or anything. Department of Creative Incubation. Okay, instructions. Inebriation procedure and protocol. Really, they've got. Okay, fine. So, mandated by OCI's liberal committee. Feeling lethargic after a long day of creative incubation? Having trouble shooting down the bird of inspiration? Let Space's Choice help you steady your aim. A selection of company approved liberations are available for purchase. Mandate, uh, medicate your creative paralysis with Space's Choice Zero G Brew. Addendum. All, uh, all, all purchases will be deducted from your pay. Basis Choice Zero G Brew, official slogan of TBD. Okay. There's no files. Okay. Um, time to get drunk again. Mind attributes. Personality attributes. Alpha. Ah. Um. Find attributes. No. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Visitor logs. Compose Livania. Trouble deciding on a front for new department letterhead. Ordered one zero G brew. Two. What Lewis? Wrote twelve good words today, but can't figure out what order they should be in. Ordered free zero G brews. Oh, God and Bennett, we're in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. <laughs> what next? Are we going to find a building of nothing but telephone what, telephone cleaners? Oh, God, I'm going to be a keyboard cleaner come next week. Oh. Anyway, um, North Deacon. Brainstorming ideas for a new flavor of soul tuna. Ordered one zero G brew. Or compost, uh, compost Lavania. Still having trouble deciding on a font. Ordered free zero G brew. <laughs> oh bloody hellfire! Okay, fine. 
Oh, yeah, I, I, I assume they only sell zero G brew here. Um, cigarette lighter, some fancy bottles. Um, okay, well, chat's entertained at least. Um, yeah, they're dead. 